Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Assholeconsulting.com, go there so you don't fuck up your life. And I'm deadly serious. We have been giving out some great advice for the past two years, two years and a quarter now. Been in business a long time. <laughs> Longer than Solinger and anyone who's gotten government money or a bank. <laughs> hey, asshole, I'm having trouble deciding which university to attend and could use some insight. I was accepted to all the universities of California as a junior transfer from community college and I've narrowed it down to UCA, uh, UC Berkeley, UCLA, and UC Davis. My goal job is to work as an actuary, but I'm also open to working in other relevant fields, data science and analytics. Well, that's good. I personally prefer the UC Davis campus, but I feel I may be underestimating the benefits of attending a campus like UCLA or Berkeley. They're all top 50 schools, but UC Davis is only well known <clears throat> within the state, while UCLA and UCB are known worldwide and rank as the best possible schools in the U.S., which may be useful if, when, I try to escape the cesspit known as California. Yeah, see, but that's what they say. Now, I know Berkeley is pretty actually decently ranked in some things, so we'll do this in a second. My main question would be, how important do you think the prestige factor of UCLA slash Berkeley is as compared to Davis in the field of statistics and applied math and the actuarial field? And would it be worth it to ignore my preference to Davis Ford? I personally don't care too much for the prestige itself, but if it gets me access to better opportunities that may lead to a better job or grad school in the future, it might be worth it even if I am potentially happy for a couple years. Also, Berkeley and UCLA are more competitive than UC Davis. I am a pretty good caliber student and got through community college with a 3.7 without really applying myself fully. Oh, look at you. You're a natural. Fucking Robert Redford in uh, that movie called The Natural. It's not that good of a... I know. They made us watch it. We're like, because, oh, you like baseball? You like this? And then he's bleeding on the side. Oh, he hits a thing blow up. That was basically the natural. I ruined the entire movie for you and saved yourself an hour and a half. <clears throat> it's so long ago. This was when Robert Redford was hot. Um, given this, would it be a good idea to go to the UC Davis and continue to be above the curve with a higher GPA or go to UCLA Berkeley where I would be more challenged and among stiffer competition. Going to Davis may also allow for more free time to study for actuarial exams or pursue internships research as well. I just don't want to end up a few years down the road leaving feeling like I wasted an opportunity, but it's all a bunch of fluff with no real merit Then I'd rather be Davis. All three campuses are about the same cost-wise aside from housing costs in which Davis is the cheapest by far. Yeah, Cal uh, uh, Berkeley could be a little pricey there. All right, the old cap is going to do something. Let it, here's, here's, I'll tell you before I pull this up. The general rule, which holds in 95% of the cases, is it doesn't matter where you go to school as long as it's an accredited program. And these are all accredited institutions and programs, so you don't have anything to really worry about there. The only caveat or exception for that is if it's like an inordinate, like it is the top one or two or three. And it's like, wow, okay, you went there. Oh, hey, you know, go. And But we are taught, it's so rare to ha see it. But for example, most MBA programs are bullshit. Unless you went to Wharton, which would be high, uh, U of Chicago. And then your standard freaking Ivy League, Harvard, Princeton. I keep saying Princeton because it pisses off this one troll who's like, there's no MBA program at Princeton. But I like to say but Princeton has one. Yale, all that other dipshit. Um, but there, that's more of the ass-kissing blue bloods and it's nepotism. Whereas like Chicago, Wharton, those are the real people who do the cutting edge shit. Um, so that's it. So let's see what top ranked actuarial science programs. 2015, best colleges and, you know, who knows who ranks these. I just want to see Columbia University, New York, University of Pennsylvania. Okay, that's probably Wharton. University of California, Los Angeles, that's number three. Uh, Carnegie Mellon, Santa Barbara, Urbana-Champaign, Boston, New York, Ohio, Connecticut. Okay. So, Berkeley's not in that list. Let's go to another one. You got to check multiple lists because, you know, they bribe the per person putting together the list. 
Really, we're going to go the top 30, and we're going to start from 29. Where's, scroll down to number one. Um, Methodology. University of Nebraska-Lincoln. See, there's no consistency. Purdue University, Bingham Young, University of Illinois, Ta Dallas, Texas, Iowa, Florida State, Morgan, Ann Arbor. Yeah, it, it's starting to look like this is one of those fields where it's like, dude, as long as it's an accredited program. Um, actuarial top rank, top schools for undergraduate risk, mathematics schools, most popular schools, that's not necessarily the best. 15 U.S. colleges with top actuarial programs offered by Safeco Insurance. Now, this is an insurance company, so they would know this shit, but then they also may be biased and try to get you to work for them. Wabash College, Kettering University, Notre Dame, Bentley. Okay, so there is no agreement upon. I'm sure the University of California system told you the University of California Berkeley or UCLA was the top ranked school. It's bullshit. Okay. Go to UC Davis. It's cheaper. And here's the other thing. I want to look up where UC Davis was. Dude, LA, here's the problem with California. They are losing so much money in terms of people wasting their time on the highways and traffic in LA and San Francisco, Berkeley. It's shit. You waste you waste an hour a day minimum in traffic. And and you know what? You're better than that. You don't have time for that. I mean, I'd go to bumfuck you in uh, Dickinson, North Dakota for an, uh, an accredited actuarial program before I'd attend any populated uh, California system school because I just don't have the time. Um, let me see. UC Davis. Where is it? Not that there is a lot of places in California that aren't just nightmarish uh, traffic shitholes. Let's take a look. Where is this? Highway 80. Oh, it's northern. Oh, it's just outside Sacramento. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look that badly populated. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. You see Davis. Absolutely. Um, and, and there's also the politics. I mean, not to say you're not in a leftist shithole anyway, but I mean, San Francisco... Lord knows what fucking bullshit brainwashing propaganda they'd force you to take just to get your degree. Uh, yeah, I'd go University of California, Davis. Absolutely. Um, he had another question. Fields, da da da. Clean, applied math. No, that's it. There you go, pal. Yeah, fuck UCLA, fuck UC Berkeley. They're not ranked. Like consistently anyway, there was and and the other thing, there was no consistent ranking whatsoever. So you go uh, get your 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 uh, uh, degree in uh, actuarial science, get your certifications. You'll be in just as good a shape as anybody else. Best of luck to you. Toodles.